The first thing I want to chat about with you guys, this on my agenda, the official list here, all organised and professional-like, <laughs> are my Let's Plays, specifically the Skyrim and Fallout Let's Plays, the BGS games. I want to just touch base with you guys and let you know what I am thinking with regards to that sort of, you know, the big Let's Plays, the ones that last quite a while. So, Skyrim, you know, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, Fallout New Vegas, maybe even we can discuss something like Cyberpunk as well, even though that's not a BGS game. Uh, you know, games that are large, games that are huge, and will possibly be appearing on my channel. I'm going to start with Skyrim. I am going to start with Skyrim. I am obviously deep into Chapter 2 of the Leonard Let's Play, but I've already started to plan the third chapter. I'm a little bit ahead of where I'm posting, obviously. I tried to stay um, at least a week ahead, but I actually prefer to get a, sort of two weeks ahead, and I'm managing to get that now, now that the summer break is over. So, the third chapter I am still planning. I haven't totally nailed down what I want to do. I've I've actually got quite a few things I want to do with Leonard, so there, there are lots of potential chapters, and I'm trying to think when would be best to do each, and the next chapter I haven't ruled out doing some modded content. There may be a small break between chapter two and three, though, as as is traditional in these Let's Plays, I, I think this time there will be a break that is a little larger than the one you had between chapter one and two, so you should expect that. I'm also thinking I might, I, I just might, do some Hearthfire with Leonard, because believe it or not, I have never done Hearthfire. Not once, not even for myself. I've never tried it, and whilst Leonard is not by himself a particularly, um, shall we say, manual labour kind of guy, I don't think I've posted the episode yet. I don't think I have. Probably shouldn't be saying this. Spoilers. But I think I sort of at some point suggest maybe I could plan it and Indigo could actually build it. So we, we, might, we might pretend that is what's going on. I may do a spin-off Hearthfire building of the house. So I, I made it, that will be a spin-off, I think. I don't know how long it takes to, to do, but I may do that as a spin-off and see how it goes and then post it if I like it. But be, believe it or not, I haven't done half my <laughs> So that might be something that appears in between two and three. I don't know for sure yet. There are a ton of mods that cut out the tedious of the Hearthfire. Right. I'm not against using mods, as you know, but generally speaking, I prefer to try something out in its vanilla state and then add mods. And I don't know how long Hearthfire is if I will be ready to mod it by the time I've pretty much finished it. So we, we will have to see. If Hearthfire involves a lot of wandering off and having to grind for materials, I might not end up doing a playthrough chapter-wise. What I might do is something more akin to uh, what I did with Frank, where he would do settlement episodes in between the normal ones. So, you know, perhaps I'll do two or three episodes to start the Hearthfire, and then... I won't be able to progress without getting stuff and it's sort of, you know, it involves wandering around and adventuring and I don't, I don't know. Maybe what I will do is just don't bother placing stuff because Skyrim has a tendency to throw objects across the room for no reason. <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, maybe, maybe I'll end up uh, having this as a spin-off chapter that occasionally has an episode where he just makes his way back and updates it a little. I don't know because I don't actually know how it works. So I will have to discover that settlement in between makes more sense. We'll just have, we will just have to see. No story, only pick materials. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting Hearthfire to be an interesting let's play chapter. I'm seeing it as a spin-off, very much like the settlements were. 
So it would be something that you, I would absolutely flag clearly as Leonard Hearthfire house building. So people who don't care can miss it. So that would pretty much be it. House cars can do furniture and decorating for you in vanilla. So I, oh, so I need a house carl. That's not the same as, oh, is that, don't I have to become a thane to get a house carl? Do I need to get a thane? Do I need to be a thane to be a house carl? So I'd need to become the thane of, say, Falkriath? Because if so, it almost certainly will be best if I integrate Hearthfire into the normal Let's Play as separate episodes. You do a quest and build a house. That's it. Well, we did a quest, didn't we? We did a quest. We've got the house started in Hearthfire. We've got the quest started in Hearthfire. But... Yeah, make Lydia do it. You need to be the Thane. Oh, right. Okay, then. That's... That is interesting. Then the Hearthfire chapter may have to come after chapter three or four or something. I, I'm, I'm, we're going to have to wait and see then. Okay, well, that is good to know. That is good to know. No, you need to be a thane to get a house, Carl, and then get a house. Well, I don't need... I don't want to buy a house. I want to... I want to build the house, but apparently I'm going to need a house, Carl, to build one. All right. You can find other companions who can become your steward. Oh, right. So it doesn't necessarily... Are you saying technically I could make Indigo my steward? I'm not going to, but uh, I mean, we could hire someone else to be it anyway. Well, I, I tell you what, I will. I will do a little bit of reading on that issue. So let me write that down. Issue one. I need to read up about House Carl's and Hearthfire just to see how to plan that. Yeah. Become Thane of Falkreath, get Rhea as house Carl, ask her to be your steward, dismiss her, and she can decorate rooms and get a carriage, etc. So, all right, so I do need it, but it, it has to be a th Thane. You can get the land to the house without a house Carl or Thane. Yeah, I've already got the land. I've already got the land. All right, you know what? I have a feeling the Hearthfire, the Hearthfire stuff will have to come after, say, chapter three or four, we'll, we'll have to see how what, what chapter three is going to be. For other, other Let's Plays that will be sort of built, you know, between the chapters of Skyrim, of course, I do have Fallout 4 and I do have Fallout New Vegas. Now, I've got a Fallout 4 video ready to go with my plans for Fallout 4. I was just waiting for some thumbnail art to be made for me. So I'll hopefully be releasing that soon. But the short version is Fallout 4 is probably not something that's going to happen soon until something like Fallout Miami is released. Now, I'm not sure when Fallout Miami is planned, but as soon as it's released, I, I really do think I would do a playthrough of that. The same is true of Fallout New Vegas. I'm sort of waiting for things like Frontier. And I'm going to send Jack off to the Frontier. I do need to fix my load order quite dramatically to make it compatible with, uh, with Frontier. So I'm going to be doing that over the next few months. But this does mean... Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas are probably not going to happen in 2018. At least, I doubt it. Because I don't think those uh, major mods... Are, well, 2000, end of 2018, maybe. That I've seen projected dates for that. So, that is a possibility. Uh, do I have plans for the main story of Skyrim at all? Uh, do I have plans? I've got lots of plans. And no, I'm not telling you any of them. <laughs> Sorry. 
you, you can't like when you go to a TV series and say, so do, are any of these chapters are you gonna are you gonna kill off such and such a person or invade such and such a country? No, you can't. No spoilers. Mm. So on the on Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4, we really we really are looking end of the year. And thus, I'm not expecting Fallout content to, to be much of an issue unless Fallout 76 is released and is awesome and I think it's main channel content. And honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case. It's, it's not that I think Fallout 76 is going to be a bad game. On the contrary, I suspect it's going to be a bit of fun. It's just not a let's play game. It just isn't. Um, it's going to be Fallout flavoured, but it's not going to be a Fallout RPG. It's going to be something completely different. Thus, I do not imagine Fallout 76 appearing on the main channel. I see the Fallout 76 videos maybe appearing on the other channel because maybe it'll be the sort of thing I stream, to be honest. So, yeah. However, this does mean for the near future, for big games, for my big Let's Plays, I'm probably going to be focusing very much on Leonard and Skyrim, which will be good news for people who like that playthrough. It means I'm going to have to deliberately keep the gaps between them reasonably short. So... You'd watch me stream it. Well, thank you very much. I am, um, I, I mean, as I said, it's the sort of game that I probably will enjoy. It's, people have described it as, you know, what, like Rust with a Fallout flavor. And I never tried Rust, but the whole concept looks fun if done with some people who that are fun to play with. As to whether it's going to be, I, I don't actually know. I just cannot imagine it being something I want to post on the main channel. What I don't think it's going to be is I don't think it's going to be like The Forest. I mean, that would have been brilliant if it had been something like The Forest, only Fallout themed, it would have been awesome. Me and Che could have gone off and tried to survive the, the vicious wasteland and, you know, it, would, it could have been fun, but it, it doesn't look like that at all. There's going to be a lot of other players and where you have other players, it's... It's never going to feel real. It's never going to feel, you know, immersive. So <laughs> it's it's on the other channel. Let's be honest, guys. We would watch Go for talking over a picture of a duck. Okay. Point two. Acquire image of a duck. Uh, I know it's been said, but the 1440p videos since Chapter 2 look fantastic. Darkness is not a problem anymore, at least, uh, anymore for me at least. Okay, I never actually, I did not think to discuss the 1440p, but I absolutely should do that. Let, let, give, tell you what, let's make that another section soon, right? Let's make that another section soon. Um... What about a Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play? Now, I have thought about that. That is too similar to Skyrim, though. So that, that would be an, uh, sort of an alternative game. And I've got a section set aside for other alternative games. That is definitely an option. But I was thinking to myself, that's the sort of thing I would run whilst doing a Fallout Let's Play. I, d I don't know whether it would be reasonable to do Kingdom Come Deliverance and Skyrim at the same time. So, I, I know it's not fantasy technically. I do know that. Uh, but I, and I suppose if I did a knight, a heavy armoured warrior playthrough, it would, be, it would be very different to Leonard. But I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I'll consider doing it. I will consider doing it alongside Skyrim, mostly because at the moment, I don't see anything replacing Skyrim long term. That I think Skyrim will only be on a break for four or five weeks maximum at a time until something Fallout comes out. But I don't know for sure. And the reason I'm thinking like this is twofold. 
One, I really do enjoy playing Skyrim at the moment. I just, I enjoy, well, it isn't just about playing Skyrim. I enjoy making this story. I've realized something pretty damned important. I, I just love the Skyrim games and the Fallout games when I do non-blind Let's Plays because I get to be creative and tell the story I want to tell. Now, that that's one of the big strengths of Bethesda Gaming Studio games. I, I like the fact that you can make your own story and when I do the non-blind Let's Plays like Leonard, that's exactly what I'm doing. And it is, it does require a lot more work, believe it or not. Each episode of the Leonard Let's Play takes three to four times longer than each episode of the Vampire Let's Play, for example. Minimum. That's just to record, let alone edit. And it takes longer to edit them as well. On average, it just takes a hell of a lot longer. But I really do enjoy those videos. So that's that's reason number one. Reason number two is a little more practical. They are my most popular Let's Plays. They are the, the reason a lot of people seem to tune in. Now, I'm not going to make those the exclusive videos um, in an attempt to maximize the views because, I, to be honest with you, I know myself and I think to some degree I know my audience. If I just devote myself to one thing because it gets the most views, I'm going to get bored and I'm going to lose the passion. I do need to inject some other Let's Play, something new, something different, even though those things are not as popular. For example, Vampire, nowhere near as popular, but it's something different. It's injected into my channel and I think I need that. And honestly, I, I think my viewers might need it as, as well. I know there are a lot of people who enjoy those Let's Plays, so I am going to keep that up. I am going to keep that up. But it is there is a secondary reason for wanting to have Skyrim or Fallout running um, on the channel at all times, and that is the fact that it's, you know, from, from a channel health point of view, it's a good boost. So, you know, I've got to balance the want to play what I want and also want to play what people want to see. I have to balance it. I can't just focus on what people want to see because otherwise I will lose the passion and you guys won't watch. But I have to respond a little bit. So there's, you know, there, there, is, there is quite a lot of incentive for me to carry on with Skyrim or replace it with something like Fallout Miami or, for, or Fallout Frontier. Although at the moment I'm not in a rush. As I said, I'm really enjoying the Leonard Let's Play. I, I cannot tell you how surprised I am at how much fun it's been to play such a different character. I've never actually played a character that was like this. I mean, he's all speechcraft and alchemy. I mean, yes, he's he's kind of gone heavily into the stealth tree, but he's still, you know, you, I've, I've managed to make him resist the urge to go down the archery tree. A lot of people are sort of saying, why don't you use the crossbow? Why don't you use bow? Leonard just is not a natural bowman. He's not a natural archer. It's not something he he sort of wants to do. He'd much rather get up close to someone and poison them. That's that's his thing. And that's just because I've never played that sort of a character before. Whenever I've played thieves before, they've always ended up a bit too generic. A bit too you know, you know that you know the stereotypical thief archetype, everyone's imagination. Leather armor, um, one-handed weapons, sneak, right? That's that's what everyone. Th oh, an archery, an archery. Do you ever notice nobody ever th fo nobody ever thinks of a thief playthrough as pickpocket and lockpicks? Lockpicks. Let's face it, that's every character you've ever played in Skyrim ever. <laughs> you know, it it is. It doesn't matter what character you're playing; they always end up with maxed out lockpick. And speech, but that's just because you sell so damned much. Um, but yeah, speech then. There you go, speech. You, you, you don't think of that as a thief skill. Speech is a thief skill. Comes under the thief stone. So does alchemy. So does alchemy. Um, so, you know, um, I, I didn't want to play the, the stereotypical grey mouser type thief. I wanted... Because if you ever look at the thieves guild... 
There are people who specialize at uh, basically mugging people. There are people who specialize at alchemy. Uh, um, no, I don't think there are anyone anyone's that specialize at alchemy. But there are ones that specialize at archery. Some specialize at lock. Some specialize at pickpocket. But, you know, I just... I just, I had never really spent that much time, even in previous playthroughs of the Thieves' Guild, I'd never spent that much time picking pockets. I really hadn't. And with this playthrough, I wanted to sort of really explore the thief side from, from a sort of a unique point of perspective. Somebody who was not built for direct combat. Now, he is getting better at direct combat because of archery. He is the archery, sorry, archery, alchemy. Alchemy is a very powerful tree. It is. It takes a lot of preparation. And in some ways, it makes me almost feel a bit like a witcher. I, I'm not saying Leonard is anything remotely like a witcher, but it makes you prepare using the, al the fortified potions and that sort of thing. And I like this idea. Um, the fact that he has to use invisibility potions because, of course, with the mods I'm using, stealth is ridiculously difficult. So, you know, he, he has to use um, invisibility potions. And just trying to sort of adapt to this new character, I'm loving it. <laughs> Does anyone here play two-handed perks? Well, not in a thief character. So... <laughs> So anyway, you know, that's this is this is this is the reason that the build for Leonard is so unusual, but it's why I'm really enjoying this character. It's such a um a different way for me to play a thief that I would normally play. But the other thing is is thief character with a follower. That I d I was not sure how I was going to pull that one off, uh, but thank God for Inigo. I mean, really, what a brilliant follower. I know I leave him behind for, for, say, you know, stealth missions. I know I leave him behind when I'm doing burglary or when I'm doing, you know, assassination missions where I really need to stealth. And and I do need that, but you know, <laughs> to do to do a character who's a thief but has a sidekick is something I was I thought would be pretty damned difficult. Um, but there you go. What else was it? What else was I worried about with oh the one thing that does disappoint me a little bit about the skills and the and the perk tree and this is possibly a small weakness with the um perk mod I'm using ordinator and that is the lack of incentive I have to take speech perks I mean I like the fact that the perks to persuade and intimidate you can get early because that's the sort of thing that Leonard wanted but beyond that there's not the speechcraft perks, and, and the problem is, is I don't honestly Im know what you would replace them with, but I would sort of imagined Leonard to be a, a con man, somebody who could convince people of things, and he can, he can do that, but actually Skyrim as a game is not really, it's not really well built for that, is it? It's not totally, um, let's face it, the dialogue is a little lacking, by the standards of uh, some games, and and I think that limits what you can, what you can expect from someone who's got the gift of the gab. I just think of things like you know, um, knock knock, the mod I use. I think it does use your speech skill to dis to give you a chance to get in as to whether or not they'll say yes, you can come in. I, I think it would be nice if there were some perks that added that. If there was a perk you could take, and that would add it, that would have given me the incentive. Now, there are a lot of interesting perks in Speechcraft with Ordinator. Ones that allow you to act like a bard, ones that allow your uh, you to act more like a merchant. And the merchant ones are interesting to some degree, but just, I don't know. I think I would need, I would need some other mod in the game that would allow... Leonard to become an actual merchant. And I could see this. I could very much imagine Leonard taking over the East Empire company in Skyrim and and there being perks that would enhance his sway and that type of thing. But it, this would require such an overhaul. It's incredible. Yeah. 
topic one. Spend too much time on topic one. Is that is that everyone's way of saying, get on with it? Topic one, Skyrim and Fallout. You've been going forever. Get on to the next subject, man. I will try. I will try. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> That's it. Skyrim is here to stay. Fallout will be returning when I get some content I really want to play. Although... I will be releasing a video telling you what I'm thinking with Fallout because there are some potentials, there are some potential for Fallout appearing somewhere in my channels, but not necessarily as Let's Plays. I will let that video explain it since I've already recorded it. Okay, so that was, that was, that was uh, item one on the list.